Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Angular 20 was officially released on May 28, 2025, with several new features and improvements. In this video, you'll learn how to upgrade from Angular 19 to the latest Angular 20. We'll start by uninstalling the Angular 19 CLI, then install the Angular 20 CLI, and finally, create a new Angular app using Angular 20. Let's get started. Angular 20 requires Node.js version 20.11.1 or newer, so make sure you have this version of Node.js installed on your system before proceeding. Open your terminal. In your terminal, type the command ng version and press enter. As you can see, the Angular CLI version installed on my system is 19.2.3. Now, let's first uninstall the Angular CLI. Type cls to clear the terminal. In your terminal, type the command npm space uninstall space dash g space at angular slash cli and press enter. Now enter the command npm cache clean dash dash force, which will clear the npm cache, including stored packages and metadata. Next, enter the command npm cache verify, which ensures that the cache is in a consistent state, free from corruption or leftover data. Now, enter the command ng version, and you will see an error. The term ng is not recognized as a CMD let, function, script file, or operable program. This indicates that the Angular CLI has been uninstalled successfully. Now, Let's install Angular CLI version 20. Type cls to clear the terminal. In your terminal, type the command npm space install space dash g space at angular slash cli and press enter. The Angular CLI has been installed successfully. Now, enter the command ng version and press enter. As you can see, the installed Angular version is 20.0.1, which is the latest version as of now. Now, let's create a new Angular 20 application using the Angular CLI. Type cls to clear the terminal. Go to the directory where you want to install your Angular 20 application. Then, right-click and select Open in Terminal. In your terminal, type the command ng, space new, space your project name and press Enter. You will see a new option. Do you want to create a zoneless application without zone.js? This feature is currently in developer preview. This is a new feature in Angular 20. Type Y if you want to create a zoneless application without zone.js, or type N to keep using zone.js. Next, you will be asked to choose a stylesheet format. Use the arrow keys to select the one you want to use. CSS is selected by default, so you can simply press Enter to continue. Then you will be asked if you want to enable server side rendering. SSR, and server-side generation, SSG. Type N and press Enter, as we will not be using SSR or SSG in this tutorial. The Angular 20 application is being downloaded and initialized. This may take a few moments, so please wait. The Angular 20 application has been created successfully. Now, Type the command cd your project name to navigate to the project directory. Open your project in Visual Studio Code. Open package.json file located in the root of your project. Under the dependencies section, you'll notice that all core Angular packages, like at Angular slash core, at Angular slash router, etc., are set to version 20.0.0. In the dev dependencies section, You'll see the Angular CLI and build tools like at Angular slash CLI, at Angular slash compiler CLI, and at Angular slash build, all set to version 20. You'll also find testing related packages such as Jasmine and Karma, along with TypeScript, which is set to version 5.8.2. Open the src slash app folder, and you'll see files like app.config.ts, app.css, app.html, app.routes.ts, 
app.ts, etc. You may notice that the file names do not include the dot component suffix, such as app component.ts. Here are the app.ts, app.routes.ts, app.html, app.css, and app.config.ts files. In the app.config.ts file, you may notice provide zoneless change detection, which was previously experimental. Earlier, we had to import provide experimental zoneless change detection instead. Here, I have the Angular 20 app open on the left side and the Angular 19 app on the right side. In the Angular 19 app, you can see that the file names include the dot component suffix, such as app.component.css, app.component.html, app.component.spec.ts, and app.component.ts. In the Angular 20 app, you can see the file names without the dot component suffix, such as app.css, app.html, app.spec.ts, and app.ts. Let's create a component. Click here and open a new terminal. In your terminal, type the command ng space g space c space home and press enter. Here, ng is the Angular CLI tool, g stands for generate, c stands for component, and home is the name of the component being created. You can see that all the files created are without the dot component suffix. Open home folder and you will see the home.css, home.html, home.spec.ts, and home.ts files. Let's display the home component. Open home.html file. Replace the p tag with an h3 tag. Next, we need to add the app home selector in the app.html file. First, open app.ts file, add home component in the imports array and import it. Now, open app.html file, remove the existing code, and add the app home selector. Next, to run the app, type the command ng serve and press enter. You can see that the local development server has started at localhost colon 4200. Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 4200. You should see the text home works displayed inside an h3 tag. By default, the home component is created without the dot component suffix in the file names, a new feature introduced in Angular 20. However, if you prefer the traditional structure using the dot component suffix, here's how you can enable it. Go to the Angular blog. I'll leave the link in the description. Now search for style. Look for the style guide updates. Here you can see, starting in Angular v20, by default Angular CLI will not generate suffixes for your components, directives, services, and pipes. For existing projects, ng update will enable suffix generation by updating your angular.json. To enable suffix generation in new projects, use the following schematic configuration. Copy the following line of code. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Open angular.json file. Now, paste the copied code inside the schematics object. Next, let's create another component. Open your terminal. Click here and select command prompt to open a new command prompt. In your terminal, type the command ng space g space c space about and press enter. Here, ng is the Angular CLI tool. G stands for generate, c stands for component, and about is the name of the component being created. You can see that now all the files are generated with the dot component suffix. Open about folder and you will see the files about dot component.css, about dot component.html, about dot component.spec.ts, and about dot component.ts. Open about dot component.html file and replace p tag with an h3 tag. Next, open app.ts file. Add the about component in the imports array and import it. Now we need to add the app about selector in the app.html file. Open app.html file, comment out this line of code and add app about selector. Go to your browser and you should now see the text about works displayed inside an h3 tag. In this video, we learned how to upgrade from Angular 19 to Angular 20 by first uninstalling the Angular 19 CLI and then installing the latest Angular 20 CLI. We also learned how to create a component both with and without the dot component suffix. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to help. I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, stay safe.